uh, concentrate on the early the moments. The third stage of the UA Women's Tour, the very first uh, UCI World Tour event in the Middle East, was billed as the Queen stage, taking the riders uh, over the shortest distance of the week, 107 kilometers in total from Haza Bin Zayed Stadium in Al Ain, back by a circuitous route to the foot of the final climb, Jebel Hafit would be the decision maker for uh, who is likely to win this first Women's World Tour event in the uh, Middle East. A intrepid group of two racing clear of the field in the early stages and taking the first uh, intermediate sprint. They were joined by uh, three other riders after the first, uh, the second sprint of the day. And here is Montecolo scoring well. Lara Cristinello the other rider, but then the wind started to blow and the riders at the front accelerated to make uh, some of the GC favorites suffer as uh, Marta Cavallo, among others, distanced in the crosswinds. Lorena Vivas in the red jersey of overall race leader and you should be handing over that jersey at the end of the day. Elisa Longa Borghini among the pre-event favourites, staying well to the fore, staying close to the head of affairs uh, throughout the day. Her and her Trek Segafredo teammates contributing to the effort to cause splits that, uh, while were significant, would have a big effect on the composition of the lead group by the conclusion of the day. Second intermediate sprint of the day going the way of uh, Chiara Consoni from the front group. Useful points gained, but Agnieszka skalniak Soika doing enough to add to her points total and ensure that she will wear the black jersey into the final stage. By the time they reached the final climb of the day, Leanne Lippert, having been distanced, was already three quarters of a minute in arrears and she would lose further time after a concerted bid to rejoin the front group. Meanwhile, the front group whittled down under the combined efforts of the Trek Segafredo squad. Faulkner of Jacob Alula making her contribution in the early stages before Gaia Reolini started to assert her authority. The Trek Segafredo rider showing her strength as she rode in the service of her teammates, Elisa Longa Borghini. They were joined up front by Esme Pepperkamp from Team DSM to make a trio, putting more time and distance into their rivals. Eventually, Pepperkamp would be distanced by the Trek Segafredo duo with Realini from Pescara, ahead of Elisa Longa Borghini, the pre-event favorite. Behind, the others fighting a rear guard action as Trek Segafredo were able to enjoy the moment. And they smiled their way through the final three kilometers, arriving to the finish line Arm in arm, Jebel Hafid had been claimed by the Trek Segafredo squad. Elisa Longa Borghini crossing the line a bike length clear of her teammate to take both stage and the overall lead. She now has a handy seven seconds advantage heading into the final stage of the race.